Hello to everyone. My name is Janeiro Mascendant and I'm known on YouTube as Jan34. And I have four children. I have a 23 year old, 21 year old, a 12 year old, and a 5 year old. So the reason why I'm making this video, it's because of the pandemic that's going on. Um, I want to just touch a little bit on it. Um, so I've been going outside this past couple of weeks. It's been going on, well, we've been on uh, quarantine for two weeks. And I've been going outside, doing my, you know, daily routine, running errands and stuff like that. And I know that you guys have been seeing the videos. Yeah, thank you for that. Appreciate it. And I hope everyone is doing okay and staying safe. But um, the reason why I'm making this video is because I have been noticing that every time I've been going outside with my son and the little guy as well, not the little guy too much, but the big guy, my 12 year old, um, we went a couple of times towards 161st, we went towards 3rd Avenue. Even in, in front of my home, where I live, and um, I've been um, uh, avoiding certain areas because they have tents over there and, and they set up tents to create hospitals. Um, for those of you guys that don't know, um, the hospitals are so packed that the armies and the government is setting up hospitals in areas where people live and um, they have to shut down those areas um, due to you know high levels of quarantine and I can't blame them you know the government is gonna do what what they're gonna do what they have to do you know to take extra measures precautions however it is that you wanna Put it out there. So, um, sorry about that. Someone was getting in the shower. Uh, yeah, so going back to what I was saying, the reason why I'm making this video is because, um, I've been noticing that on the ground, I've been noticing a lot of people have been taking off their gloves that they've been wearing taking off their um one second so sorry about that i was interrupted um my husband is taking a shower getting inside the shower and my son um i had to serve him some cereal so i believe the last part that i was saying was um i've been walking around these past couple of weeks um, around the neighborhood and I've been noticing that people are using gloves on their hands and masks on their face so I've been noticing that people has been taking off the gloves and tossing them on the floor and taking off their mask and throwing it on the floor now you tell me how many garbage cans there are in each corner in New York City um, when are when is when I'm not gonna say when are people gonna learn but when is yeah when are people are going to learn um, that the reason why all of this is happening it's because of us of us being so unsanitized uncleansed you know we're you know there, there's people out there that are not being very sanitized with themselves. They are tossing these gloves and these masks on the floor after wearing them, wearing the gloves and mask on their face and stuff. And you're not being sanitized with yourself, you know. Well, they are not. Whoever's watching this video, you guys understand what I mean. And if you guys um, see anyone tossing these gloves and mask on the floor you know scream at them shout out at them whatever it is that you can do please do 
because this is disgusting, it's disturbing, and it's destroying our earth. We are destroying our earth. Us human beings are. You know, we can blame the government, we can blame the, you know, any, anything that's connected to the government. We can blame them and blame them and blame them, but it's not their fault. It's our fault as human beings. Who created this virus? Humans. Um, you know, there's so many, so much that humans can do to avoid certain situations, but we just don't. We continue destroying Mother Nature and it needs to stop. Like, seriously, it needs to stop. It's disgusting, it's disturbing, like I said, and, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm about to do a cleaning video right now, and I look at these cleaning products, and then it's like, why are these people still throwing stuff that you are using on your hands and your face? There's kids out there, you know, Kids go out every day and they have to walk out every day, you know, not so much now because they're locking everybody away in their homes and they don't want nobody to come out and, you know, everyone is in quarantine and, you know, like the whole wide world is in quarantine. Like how disturbing and disgusting that is, you know, how much more does the government need to tell us on a daily basis? Don't come outside, stay home. If you don't have nothing to do outside or nothing important to do outside, stay home, stay home, stay home. But why can't we as humans go about our daily day and be clean, be cleansed, staying safe out there? What, we can't do that? We just have to be animals? That's what it is? Like, you out there, who has a home. I know a lot of people have homes. I know a lot of people are staying with other people. I know there's a lot of people that are homeless. I know people that are homeless and still are staying. They try their best to stay clean. I know there's a lot of people that are in shelters and there's people that are in shelters that still try to stay clean. You know, you don't need Lysol in order to stay clean. I don't know where the hell they, there's people out there trying to say, oh, Lysol is, is going to cleanse us. There's water, there's soap, and there's other products, cleaning products out there that could disinfect. Go buy it and use it. There's a lots of cleaning products out there that can disinfect the body your home, wherever you are. You know, walk around with a bottle of Lysol, like, uh, uh, not a Lysol, uh, a freaking sanitizer. Walk walk around with one, like, make, make some sanitizer. Like, how hard can that be? It can't be that hard. It just can't, you know, if, you're one of those individuals that want to walk around wearing gloves, wear every mask, throw it away in the right proper place, or wait until you get home and toss it inside the garbage. Or if you see a garbage can in the corner of New York City or wherever you live, toss it out. Like, how hard can that be? It can't be that hard. You know, it's just disturbing. I'm going to um, go out there, not today because it's raining, but um, tomorrow or on Tuesday, and I'm gonna film. I'm gonna film and I'm gonna count each glove, each mask that I see is, oh my God. I went out running and going to the supermarket and and just going to different stores that I, I needed to go get a couple of items and I counted over 
I, I'm not gonna lie, over 25 gloves and mask. And it's freaking disturbing. I had to tell my son to be careful. Don't, 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 don't walk over it. Like, don't walk on, on top of it. You know, walk around it or something. You know, this virus is staying up in the air for three hours. It doesn't matter where you go. It doesn't matter who you are. We all have it. But the only way it's going to stop spreading is by human beings stopping it. We are not stopping it. We are continuing to spread it. We continue to spread it. The reason why I say that is because we are not being cleansed as human beings everywhere we go. Okay? I can go to a store, let's just say, and if I have the sniffles really, really bad, and we can't control our nose, right? Let's just say my face is not covered at the moment, right? And all of a sudden I go, Hach. That, hach. that spit, right? It goes on to whatever products I was in front of. All of a sudden somebody comes through and is trying to buy that product and I just sneezed all over that product, right? She takes that product home, right? She uses the product, all of a sudden her kids are touching that in that particular bottle, right? And it goes from that person to that person and then that child touches a control in the house or touches a toy in the house and that goes from that person to that person and it keeps on. Do you understand what I'm saying now? It keeps on. The gerb keeps on traveling. So please. Cover your faces if you need to cover it. If you feel that, you know, this is pollen season. If you feel that you're one of those people that sneeze a lot, cover your faces. If you feel, you know, that you need to lather your hands with more of this or cover your hands, you know, you don't need special gloves. You can wear regular gloves. Just cover your hands. Cleanse them when you go home. You know, as soon as I come out from, from outside and I'm coming from my run that I do, you know, it, it doesn't matter it, it, it doesn't matter how long you're outside. As soon as you come from outside, take off all of those clothes, dump them inside your laundry bag or inside your laundry if you have a washing machine, if you're, you know, that <clears throat> one of those individuals that have the privilege of having a washing machine and a dryer. I wish I had one here. I'd be freaking washing every day. But if you're one of those individuals that have washer and dryer, take your clothes off, dump them inside there, and when it's time for you to do your laundry, do your laundry. But if you're not, dump them inside the freaking the bag, and when it's time to do your laundry, go do it. Like, how, how, how hard can that be? You know, it can't be that hard, guys. Come on, we all need to come together, please. Let's stay cleansed, you know, like stay safe, and let's work together. This is ridiculous already, it's getting out of control. The marshals are gonna come, they're gonna shut down this whole entire state. You know, and if that's what you guys want, then that's what's gonna happen. They're gonna shut down this whole entire state. Do you guys not get that? They're gonna shut it down. The marshals are talking about it already. They, 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 they're gonna, they quarantine us already. You know, we've been like this for two weeks already. You know, there's bodies out there being burnt. Burnt, they're not even giving them a proper funeral. You guys, this is serious. Yeah, if you, you guys haven't watched, uh, you know, movies out there that they have presented in the past and, and they had those people in quarantine and then all of a sudden it got out of control and they couldn't do nothing else with the bodies. So they quarantined the whole entire freaking population of that area and you know what they do? They burn the bodies. And that's what they're doing here. In Mount Sinai, they are burning the body. They are not giving them a proper funeral because they don't want to transport those bodies elsewhere and then transport it more, you know, 
further, the, the, the disease, the virus, whatever you want to call it, the tick, they are burning these bodies. Like, how serious is this getting? How serious do you want me to get? Do you want me to, like, put videos here for you guys? Stop being freaking nasty. This is disgusting. It's disgusting. It's disturbing. <clears throat> Us as human beings, we are killing Mother Nature. We are killing this, this earth, this planet. In Alaska, these animals are dying. Like, what part you don't understand? You know, I make videos out there and I put them out there because it's a journey that I'm going through with my family. You know, it's, it's, it's like a diary. But to make this video is, is disturbing. It's, it's giving me a freaking headache. I don't understand how much more can I put it out there. I don't understand why the government has to continue to put it out there. You know, there's other countries, small little countries that are calling us fucking pigs. They calling us pigs. They calling us the 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 you know the the land of the filth. Why? Because New York City population five percent. We took up five percent of that disgusting germ, and we like. I, I don't know. I don't know what to say, but thank you for watching this video. Whoever's watching this video, it's Jan 34, and I hope everyone is staying safe and staying cleansed. You know, and just doing what you have to do for your family. You know. I, I'm, I'm doing what I have to do for my family. You know, if you feel that you are sick, if you feel that, you know, you have the sniffles or you have to cough or anything like that, take precautions, take the measures that you have to take as an individual, as a mother, as a father, you know, and do what you got to do. You know, if you need to give your child soup or anything like that, can you close that door? Um, Yeah. Just do it. Love you guys. Peace, love, and blessings. And have a blessed day. Today is Sunday.